We warn the government. Let Banana do that. This asset, especially the AGM part of the asset, was valueless and risky. And we insisted that the valuation, you need to value an asset to make sure you know how much it is valued. And we insisted that that so-called valuation they've done cannot let the state buy that asset at that price. We warned them, we insisted, we spoke about the risk of the, a, the South Deep Water Tunnel block. And said that, first of all, the block was 3,000 meters deep. The technology to develop that block does not even exist. So, why will Ake, who wants to make money, sell that used uh, a block to Ghana without proper valuation? The government insisted that they were going to buy it. We insisted that it was not of value. Thankfully, they said they, they came to see policy of rent, that they were going to go and come back. Well, guess what? Less than a year and a half later, Ake has now said that that block has been relinquished. That is, they have basically given up on it to Ghana back. Can you imagine if we bought it? And we insisted that we can buy it at that price. Now, we saw some newspaper article saying that the NDC minority has been silent about the fact that now it turns out that a, a year later or two years later, Aker now goes back to say that that block that they wanted to basically dupe Ghana by selling to us for 1 billion, 1.65 billion, I mean half of that part of the block they no longer uh, want it and that they have relinquished it. That really vindicates the NDC minority.